Hi everyone, my name is Biz and welcome to your fifth flowchart tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial I had told you about the decision boxes and I had also shown you two examples demonstrating them. So in this tutorial I'll just be continuing that with a better example. Now this is the flowchart built to display the largest of three numbers. So what we do here, we start then we set the three numbers a b and c is equal to zero and then we ask the user to input the three numbers and among these three numbers we have to display the number which is the largest so after the user inputs we enter into this decision box and we check whether a is greater than b so suppose it satisfies suppose a is greater than b then I go and check yes so that means the condition satisfies I go to the yes hand and then I check is A greater than C and then if it's yes if this condition also satisfies then I display A is the largest so what happens here it is first I check if A is greater than B then if A is greater than B then I check if A is greater than C and if this also satisfies this means that a is greater than both b and c so then i display a and suppose in this decision box this condition fails so a is greater than b i know that but a is not greater than c c is instead greater than a so what would happen then then i would display c is the largest now why is that well a is greater than b but when i go to this no hand it means c is greater than a so what c is greater than a and b so i display c so i hope you understood this part and now suppose in the next one is this suppose this condition fails a is not greater than b then i follow the no hand i enter this decision box and there i check if b is greater than c so at first look if a is not greater than b then b is greater than a so now if b is greater than c then that means b is greater than both c and a and then if it satisfies i display b is the largest and if this condition fails it means b is greater than a but b is not greater than c instead c is greater than b so that means c is greater than both b and a so i display c is the largest and then i connect all of them and I go here and I stop so this is the simple problem of finding the largest of three numbers now if I just try to give you a proper example say I have three numbers a is equal to 5 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 3 so what I do at first I check whether a is greater than b or not right like here so here a is not greater than b right b is greater than a so i follow this path and then i check whether this b is greater than this c or not now 7 is obviously greater than 3 so i follow this path and i display b is the largest so what is the largest number b so that's what this flowchart does it displays the largest of three numbers so i hope you understood that and that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and talk to you guys in the next one